Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us because we love painting and guess what we're doing today? A flying parakeet. Whoa. I wonder if any of you have them. My cousin had one as a pet. I know that there's a dance studio nearby that has a parakeet in it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Is it this color? No, it's blue. There are different colors. There, there are. different colors of this parakeet, but we're going to do a green one today together. So. What we're using is we have an outline to get us started. And if you don't have this, you can ask a grown up to go to our website and go to letsmakeart.com and type in flying parakeet. And then you can get the outline to paint with us. Then we are using our watercolors because we like to use watercolors here is I have a lemon yellow and I'm going to use that to paint this part of our bird. And then you can grab any green because we're gonna use green to paint the, the feathers. So I'm gonna be using pine green, but if you have our leaf green or if you have a different green, you can use that as well. Then we always have our palette, a cup of water, and a paper towel because I set my brushes down on them. Did I mention my brushes? Not yet. Grab your brushes. Grab them. I'm for this one, I have a small and a big one. I'm gonna be using my big one and this is a size 10 because we're gonna be using a lot, we're gonna be painting a very big space. And then, oh, here's the fun tool that I wanted to tell you about is we're gonna be using a spray bottle. Ooh. So you might have seen these maybe if you have long hair and you used a tangler. They're, oh yeah, totally. It's the type of bottle. Obviously we're not going to use that. So we have a empty bottle that we're going to use and I'll show you how to use that in step six. So we're not there yet, but just have that handy. And let's start off by doing our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me, I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do. <clears throat> Boom. <laughs> okay. And then as always, we want you to just know and see our cameraman Keenan. Oh. He wanted to come say hi. Hello. <laughs> so he's here to paint along with us. Now, the first step is, is we like to get our watercolors ready to paint before we get started. So on our bird, we have our yellow, which we can squeeze out some yellow because we're going to use that. So we have our yellow and then I want to make a lime green. So that's what this part of our, our bird is. And also I have an example is if you've never seen what this bird looks like is this is what it is, is it has a a yellow head and then some of the feathers are lime green and then a darker green. Oh, and there's so many other types of birds. So too. many. Okay, so we have our yellow already set. Now we're gonna do our lime green. Now there's a few ways that you can make lime green. We actually also have a color mixing guide. So you can either make a lighter color by adding water, which we learned that when we did our green rolling hills project mm. or actually in a lot of projects we learned but i want to teach you another way you can make lime green is we're going to start with our pine green and pine is this a little bit darker green so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put one drop let's make two greens actually so i'm going to do one drop and then one drop i'm going to make two different colors then what we're going to do is to make the lime green is we're gonna make and add yellow. So what we do is you take your yellow and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this medium lime green color. Is so on this one, cause this in the shot, yeah. I'm gonna add three drops of yellow. One, oh, that was a lot of yellow. <laughs> oh. Let's see what happens. Let's experiment. So you never know. We're just trying to make two different colors basically. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good that's green. That's a pretty color. Okay. I I think we're going to keep that actually. Okay. Should we keep it? Yeah, I like that one. So that one, do you want me to make a lighter color than this or a darker one? Hmm. I like a darker. A darker one? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we have this one. This will be our lighter color. So we go yellow and then a lime green, a lighter green. And then for this one, since I added, that was probably a lot of yellow. What if I just add... What just happens if I just do one drop of yellow? Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. Mm. Ooh, there you go. So do you see how it's a little bit darker? Yeah. So this one is a little bit more yellow 
it's like a yellow green. So that's what happens when you add yellow to this color is it will make it for that color. So then we have our three colors that we're going to be painting with. Let's do this. So the first step is, is we're going to grab your brush and we're going to paint the head of our parakeet yellow. So let's clean my brush if you were mixing color. So clean your brush, sweep the bottom of the cup, hit it off to the side. You don't want it to be too wet and then dip in yellow. And we're gonna paint the head. Now I'm gonna go around the beak and go around the eye. If you paint in it, that's okay. We're gonna color on top of it. So we're painting and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop about here because we're gonna blend in the other parts of the feathers. Cause remember the head is yellow and then the other part is gonna be lime green. So we have our lime green already. So it's our second color that we made. So dip in and then we're gonna paint the feathers. So to do this is I want you to just paint lines coming and touching the yellow but I'm coming out like that and painting away from the head. You see that? Yeah. And then they blend right here. I love that look. Ooh, that is nice. Now, if you want to blend it more, you go like this and you blend more. You're the artist here, so you get to decide what it looks like. Now, let's do a little bit more. So I'm gonna do all the way, I'm gonna go around, around, the feet of our bird. That is a good green. There we go. Okay, now the next step is, is to make our bird look 3D. This is why we're making it in different layers, is we have our light color, our yellow, we have our medium color, and now we're gonna use our darker green, and we're gonna paint the rest of our feathers. So dip in, might need to make more of that color, and we're gonna fill in and paint all the way to the edge. So again, I touched and I overlapped this color, because when they touch, they're gonna blend. So let me make more of this color. And we're gonna paint the whole rest of our feathers. This, I just added a little bit of yellow. A little bit more. What kind of noise do you think these birds make? I can't remember what I heard. Wow, that was great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded real. I think that's what they do. They chirp? Yeah. So you can, they can talk to each other? Yeah, I think you they chirp make... to each other. So good, so we're painting the rest of our feathers. Now, you'll notice I'm painting outside the lines. I love to do that because we're not here to be perfect. We're just here to paint and to bring our paper to life with color. So if you paint outside the lines, me too. Boom. Beautiful. Okay, so there, we have our base layer of our bird. Now, we're gonna make it even more look 3D, and what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab your darker green, so I have my pine green, and I'm gonna use more of that. And do you see on here how we have these lines right here that are from the outline? Yes. I want you to dip your brush in the darker color, and we're gonna draw on top of those lines. Hmm. So while this paint is wet, It'll blend in, oh. do you see that? So I see my out or my line and I'm just painting on top of it. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Look at how it's blending. Yeah. Boom, so let's do a little bit right here. Look at that. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, so now we are on step six because we are using our spray bottle. Ooh. Ooh. 
So make sure to clean your brush, put it off to the side, and you're going to open your spray bottle. Now mine is empty right now, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna open it up. If this is your first time using it, open it up. And we're going to squeeze our green color because we're gonna be spraying, I should tell you why we're doing this, is you see on here how there's all these little spray marks? That was from this cool tool. So you're going to have your cup. I'm trying to think where the best place I should do this is. Mm. Right here? On your hand? What about... So everyone can see? What about right on the right next to the parakeet? Move your paper parakeet over a little bit so you don't make any crazy messes. Like there? Is that good? A little to the right? Yeah, right there. That's okay. That's a good spot. Okay. So what we're doing is this is empty right now is I have my watercolors and we're actually going to put the tip into the bottle and I'm going to squeeze. Can they see the side? Yep. Boom. Okay. So I, you don't need to do too much actually. So we're going to do that. Let's see. I want you to fill it up. Let's go a little bit more. Maybe you have a different green, or if you want to put some yellow in there, you can mix it up. Okay, so this is to help you see. You'll notice I didn't fill up the whole thing. I just filled up a little bit right here with my color. Now you can mix different colors if you want of different greens. But when you're done with that is the next step is we're going to add more water to it. So we have our color. Now we're going to add water to it because we need to be able to spray. Now, Let's see, you can either use, if you have a cup of water, a sink would be easiest. I don't have a sink right next to me, so I have another, I have another spray bottle that has some water, so I'm gonna use this. But go to a sink and fill it up. Now, let's do another front shot, is I wanna show you, is I am going to only do right here. If you go to halfway, that's okay, but I don't want you to fill the whole bottle. I just want you to do about that much, okay? So grab your water, and you're gonna fill it in, this feels scientific. It does. I think that's good. So we're going to test it out. So the reason why I want to teach you why, because we like to teach you why, is if we were to put water all the way up, it would be a really light color because there's a lot of water. Remember mm. when we do watercolors, if you want to make it lighter, it makes adds more water. So we want it to be a concentrated color, a really deep green. So that's why we're not filling the whole thing up with water. So you have that. Close it up. Make sure it's really, really tight, so squeeze it. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to spray. Now, before we do this, before you get excited, because I know you're really, really excited, is I want you to make sure that your space is okay to be painted on because you're gonna be spraying, and so you'll notice my table has a lot of paint, but yours might be a very nice table that your grown up wants to keep nice. So maybe say, hey, do you have any newspapers you can put out? Or if you have a tablecloth, or here's another thing that you might have is if you have our box, you can use your box. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your parakeet and put it somewhere. So again, if it's on your box, or if you have a, um, a tablecloth out, and what we're gonna do in this step is let me show you right here, is we're going to spray on our top, the top of our feathers so it looks like the wings are flapping. So I want you to be very careful with this project because we're gonna be very mindful about what we're doing. So when you see, I'm gonna do a front shot, you see my water or my spray bottle. Do you notice this hole right here? Can you see that? Yes. Or I guess, can you see it right here? Yes. So we're never going to spray with this up. This is where the color comes out. So I want you to turn so that that circle is pointing down. And then the other trick is we're gonna come at an angle. So if we spray like this, let's see, we could do a side shot There's maybe. a tube in there. Yeah, can you see the tube? If we tilt it like that, let's see, yeah. So the tube is, it might not be hitting the water or the color a lot. So if we tilt it, do you see how the tube is inside? It disappears. So what we're gonna do is you're going to have, remember step one, have your the nozzle pointing down. Step two, pick a finger. You might be different. You might need two fingers, it might be your thumb. Pick a finger and you're going to push, lay it on top, hold it tight, or if you need two hands, 
or ask a grown up to help you. And I want you to point and push. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, there it comes. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm about five to seven inches and you'll see from the side mm -hmm. angles, I'm not really, really close because if I go really close, actually, let's see what happens. Oh, it, see it just, it made a more, it didn't have the, let's see, the spray wasn't as far away. So I like how I have these little dots. So if you come a little bit further away. Now, here's the other thing. Listen to me is I don't want you to do this. Come really far away and spray because it's going to spray everywhere. So we're going to be mindful. So I want you to come a little bit closer and spray. This is exciting. Woo! Look at that. So we're spraying. Again, if you're having trouble, maybe do those steps. Is make sure you're pointing down, have a little bit at an angle and not like this, and that will help you. Now, the next step is, is we are going to move to the bottom. So this, we did our top wings, and now let's do our bottom wings. So again, I'm gonna hold it, point. Step one, nozzle. Step two, angle. Step three, finger. Step four, push. Nice. Boom! Woo! Look at that, whoa, fun. <laughs> Your parakeet is flying. Isn't that so fun? That is so fun. <laughs> okay, so you could add more. I think I'm good. I'm going to set that down. And now it's time for a snack break actually. Oh, nice. Because we're gonna let this fully dry and then we're gonna do our last step together. Okay, so we are back from snack break. Hope you had a good snack break. Now, I'm going to take my paper out, it's dry. What we're going to do is we're gonna do our very last step. So, actually I have Ella, our little artist Ella, who I'm, you, I'm sure you've known if you've watched some of our videos, is she colored with me or painted with me one day. And you can see is we're gonna use our markers to do the black and then the orange beak and the feet. But there's so many different, she added this cool thing Ooh, right here. Isn't that that's awesome? cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your markers or if you have crayons, any kind, it doesn't matter. And we're going to start with the black. Ooh, those are good markers. Yeah, I, oh, I love these markers. They have, t they have two different colors on one one. What? One pen. Magical. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have these on our site. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to color in your eye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color around. Do you see that there's two circles on your eye? Mm -hmm. Is I want you to color in the outer one. And the reason why is that the inner one is white, or actually this one's yellow, but it's like a little highlight. Oh. So that's just a little thing you can do. And then on the parakeet, where is our parakeet? Oh, right here. Is they have on their feathers, they have these lines right here. So we are going to add that here. So we have some pencil lines. We're gonna add some there. And then maybe there's some right here. Looks like there's some dots. So maybe we add some dots. You are the artists. You get to decide where you use your markers. Then we're going to color in our beak. So our beak is orange, but maybe, I mean, you can make your beak another color. You could, it could be blue. It could be blue. This one kind of has a little bit of blue right there. Should I do that? Yeah. So add some blue to the top. Ooh. Ooh, that's fun. That is fun. We put our colors right here. And it looks like their feet are kind of purpley. Oh. Maybe I'll do that. Why not? So we're gonna color that in. There's no reason or no rule that says you cannot use as many colors as you want. Yeah. So you can do whatever You're right. you want. You can do whatever you want. If you want to add more, more feathers to yours, if you want to draw something around it, maybe there's more birds around it. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe it's behind a tree. You get to be creative. Now, here's the cool thing. Let me close up my markers because we want to be kind to our supplies. 
is, there are two things I wanna tell you. One, really, really good job. I'm really proud of you for doing this. This was so much fun. And guess what? The second thing I wanna tell you is that you can do more. So if you really liked this technique and you want to use the spray bottle more in a project is maybe you use your bird outline and you make another one and you try different colors for your birds because there are so many different colors. So we have a few right here, but when you are doing this, I want to give you a tip is if you want to change colors in here, what you need to do is you need to open this up. You need to take this out and you need to pour it out and you're going to clean it. Then what you need to do is, do you see how on here, do you see how there's some green in the tube? Is you need to spray it to get it all clean. Spray clean water. Spray, yes, oh yes, thank you. Spray yeah. it with clean water to get it out. So you need to make it really clean, otherwise when you spray it, you'll have a little bit of green. Maybe we'll do an extra video on that this. That sounds fun. Yeah, maybe we'll show you a little video, either it'll be on our social media or whatnot, but we'll do a little video to show you how a few tips to cleaning this, because I can't show you with the sink right here. <laughs> so do that if you want to change colors. Now, like always, what we want you to do is we want you to share what you made with us. So tell us, maybe you name your parakeet. We always like to name, what should we name this guy? Hmm. Parakeet Pete? Pete. Yeah. Pete. So we want you to take a picture and share with us a little bit about your parakeet. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects and we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. And then, before we go, one more thing is I wanted to give a shout out to Skylar. So we're gonna- Skylar! Show her your pic, show her picture. She's eight and she did our rainbow toucan project. Doesn't it look so, so cool? So fun. So cool. She did a little drawing and she added some words. So this is an idea that you can do with your parakeet. Maybe you draw more around it. Maybe you write a word. Maybe you make a story up. Oh, There's I so like many that. fun things. So good job, Skylar. Thank you for painting with us. And thank you for painting with Keenan and I. This was so much fun. So always remember that you're brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.